What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to share with you the top five tools to increase productivity inside your business. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Justin Saunders. I currently run five online businesses. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the tools that I personally use to stay organized. And stick until the end, and I'll show you how you can put all of these awesome tools into one main tool to simplify your life. The first thing you need to know when you want to increase productivity inside your business is you need to eliminate distractions. And when I talk about distractions here, I mean going on social media and aimlessly scrolling and just tapping, commenting, liking, sharing. You got to figure out whether you're going to be a producer or a consumer. And if you want to go the producer route, that's where you're going to produce a lot more inside your business. So there's a couple of different ways that I like to go about this. Number one, I would definitely suggest that you go inside your phone and check the actual screen time application in your phone. You can go on there and see how much you're actually spending on each app. And I'll even be the first one to admit it. I checked the other day and I went on there and I saw an Instagram. It says I was on there for an hour and I looked back and thought about it. And I didn't even post anything. I didn't even interact with people. All I did was just scroll aimlessly throughout the day. I don't know if it was just maybe waiting in the elevator, waiting in line, whatever it is. But point being is you'd be very surprised with how much time you spend on things without even realizing it. So it all kind of comes down to just becoming aware. And that's why I like that app is because you can actually become aware of where you're spending the most of your time. Now, the next thing you can look into with all this is like apps to help you prevent this. I know if you go on Apple, there's apps to help you minimize your screen time, your time spent on apps. But for me, I think it's just more of finding a mutual ground and then going from there. One of the things I like to use is, and I'll pull it up on my screen over here, it's called News Feed Eradicator. And it's actually a Facebook app because I spent a lot of time on my Facebook and if you, do, if you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, I'll pull this up actually as well and go over that in a second. But this is what the actual app will look like. And you'll see it eliminates all of the posts. So when I get on here, it's strictly just business. Like I don't have to aimlessly scroll. Now, it's going to be a little bit different if you're on your phone because, again, this doesn't this is only on your computer. So you'll have to figure out an app for that or just be conscious of how much time you're spending on there. But it really helps. And it's even got like a nice little quote on here every time you come on. If I had to live my life again, I'd make the same mistakes only sooner. You know, you might get some daily inspiration from that as well. Uh, but little side note, if you haven't, go ahead and join the free Facebook group. There's a link down below. We give away free, free stuff all the time, free trainings. Um, so go ahead. There will be a link down below, completely free. Uh, it's a great group, especially if you're an agency owner. Now, the next tool that I like to use to increase productivity inside my business is a software called Asana. And it's really good when you have a team in place. And coming from someone like myself, who currently run five online businesses, this is how we stay organized. And it's a really good way of basically putting your task on there and then having it so you can stay organized with your team and know when stuff is getting done the right way. And I've personally tried a lot of different ways to stay organized with my team, tried like things like Trello, um, but I've honestly found that Asana is the best. And I'll kind of show you what this looks like. So this is the Asana over here. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how I have all this set up with my team, but if you want a more in-depth video of that, just feel free to comment down below. And uh, if we get enough demand, we'll, we'll definitely have one of those. But Here's just something right off the bat that I think everybody in their business should have is a how-to videos section. So I have a lot of team members on my team, especially for this particular business. This is one of my agencies. And what we have in here is SOPs. These are videos literally for everything. These are videos that I personally created. And one of the ways I found to do this is if you use a, a tool called Loom, L-O-O-M, which I'll pull up for you right here real quick. It's an easy way to record your screen and just walk through as you're doing a task. And this is how I build all my systems and processes. You can check that out more in detail there, but let's just say, for example, like, uh, let's go back up to the Facebook ads right here. How to switch up clients ad and click on here. So for example, if a team member comes and means like, hey, Justin, I need help switching up clients ad. I'll just send them this video and be like, cool. Here's a video that's already how it's done. And then it'll take them actually to this video where they can go and see a full detailed video of how I've personally done it. So 
I think actually having Asana combined with Loom is one of the biggest game changers. And then also on here, um, you guys could have, you know, as many different things as you want on here. We have all of our SOPs. You can see right here if I show more products, um, high budget campaigns, prospecting, client updates, onboarding, offboarding surveys. But without going to do too much detail in there, I think the biggest thing that if you haven't done yet, you need to get started with is creating a how-to library. I literally have hundreds of videos that, and these are, these are literally all videos that I give my team members and they all have access to this to uh, make my life a whole lot easier because in business, especially when you're doing a lot with software, you should only do things once and then just record it and then send it over to a team member so they can do it the right way after. The next tool I like to use to stay organized inside my businesses and increase productivity is a tool called monday.com. And I'll share my screen. What I'm going to share with you here is actually a little bit older because we have a lot of current clients that we can't show their names and, you know, confidentiality agreements and everything like that. So I'm going to go in here and show you an older version, but it's still the same concept of how you can make it work inside your business. So if you look at my screen over here, you'll see we use monday.com and there's so many different things you can do with this. And one of the things I really like is you can, you can separate it by live clients, um, onboarded clients, offboarded clients. And I mean, you can see on here, like a lot of this is old. I mean, this is February 28th, 2020 time to shoot in this video. It's October the 2nd, 2021. So point being is you can get really specific on here. And what we use this a lot for is having our account managers in here, managing all of our clients. So at the time of this video, we have a hundred plus solar clients that we were managing in another board. And one of the things that really helped us and a little tip for you is we've turned our account managers into a sales machine as well, because what they do is since we have so many clients that are offboarded or have been um, in the past, they go back in there and they use this almost like a CRM to make sure they're either happy or when they follow back up with them. So a little ninja tick trick for you is go in here and get organized. This is really good for when you actually have a lot of clients. And now monday.com, is a little bit on the pricier end for software and systems. I'm not sure exactly what the price is. I believe it's around 70 to 100 is what we're paying a month, but it really depends. By no means you have to have this right away, especially if you're first getting started. You could go and just create a Google Sheet and create it just like this. But I would say definitely go give it a shot and at least do some um, research on monday.com because it's been huge and that's how our business has been able to run. Number four, on the five tools to increase productivity inside your business and something I personally use every single day and especially inside my businesses, this is a must have is Slack. If you're not familiar with Slack, highly recommend that you go check it out right now. Most of you probably watching this video have some sort of idea of what it is, but basically as it says right here, Slack is where the future works. It really is. And instead of going inside my Slack, because I have a lot of things going on with clients, team members, and want to keep things a little bit on the low key right now, just basically what you know, what you need to know is it kind of looks like this, like you have your channels and then this is how you communicate. So you basically have a channel where all of your team members can go in and communicate. So for example, if you had a sales channel, you could have your entire sales team on there or graphic designs. And maybe you have a VA from Fiverr that you have on there or Whatever it is, you can get really organized and make channels for specific team members. And then you can also just communicate with them one-on-one. -on -one. That was a really big thing that I learned because when I first started my businesses, I was communicating with people on Facebook, um, text message, email, so every, literally everything, Skype. That's the word I was looking for. I was, there was like five different communication channels. And eventually it was just like, the only way I'm communicating with people is with Slack now. And it's been the biggest game changer. So highly recommend that you go check out Slack. Uh, this is kind of a breakthrough of like how it looks and you can check it out. I highly recommend it. I use it for all my businesses as well. Now we're coming up on the last one here, but stick with me until the end because I've got one last hack for you that's going to be able to put all these together so you can see everything in one place and ultimately make your life so much easier. So with that being said, the last one that I like the most is a software called High Level. Go high level, high level, HL. There's all kinds of different names that you could have with it. And I'm going to pull up my screen over here and just kind of share you with you like what it looks like. 
And I'll even log into one of my accounts just so you can see. But first things first, if you run any sort of business and you're just getting started or maybe you're doing less than 50K a month and you're still trying to figure things out, highly recommend that you at least take a look into high level because this is basically like all of your marketing, everything inside your business in one place. You know, you have a CRM, you have triggers, kind of like Zapier, uh, you have all kinds of different things and Zapier I should have probably put that on this list as well, because that's one of my favorites as well. It's kind of hard when you say top five, because there's so many, but let me just log in and show you kind of like what this looks like. All right. So we're inside one of our templates over here, and I'm not going to go through a full high level overview on here, but just know like this is kind of the dashboard. You can see your opportunities, your pipeline value, where if you come over here into opportunities, you can actually see and create like an actual pipeline right here. Um, conversations. This is really cool where you can actually go on here and connect a lot of your accounts. And with Facebook, you can connect it on here. You can text people, you can email them all from this one app right here. You've got workflows, which are really cool. It's a newer update on here where you can actually build a workflow kind of similar to active campaign, which again, active campaign is probably another one that I'd have to put on this list too, but there's so many different things you can do. And what I really like about this is well, a couple of different things, marketing campaigns, you can set up your own campaigns, which is, for example, a lead nurturing campaign, you can come in here and you can put in a SMS uh, marketing strategy email. So for example, first message I get, it's right here. And they're really easy. It's really easy to move things around as well. That's what I really like about this, as well as the trigger option on here, which basically allows you to almost if you're familiar with Zapier, it allows you to make things go on autopilot. Like this is how we automate a lot of things inside our business. But what else is really cool is you can actually build funnels just like click funnels, which again, another side note, click funnels would probably be another one I'd have to put on here, but I guess it didn't make the cut for this particular video. So like, let's say for example, and these are templates that we have inside all of our clients, you wanted to build a funnel, right? And this is a template that we use for um, one of our Cairo clients. I'll just show you it real quick so you can check it out. But there you go. Uh, pretty simple, straight to the point, high converting funnel, and it just works really well. And there's just so many other things you can do in here. You can even have your own, you can have, you can add your team members in here. You can create your own calendar. You can get your own phone numbers, you can create templates. You can, there's so many things you can even, one of the things that we tried recently is um, adding like payment options where you can collect payments on funnels on here. So it's, Really high level is kind of like the overview of everything that you need inside a particular business. So those are the top five tools to increase productivity inside your business. I hope you like those. Now, before you leave, I've got one extra bonus one that I want to share with you, how you can combine almost all these together and make your life a whole lot easier. So the other one that I wanted to share with you is something that we call Shift. It's an app that you can download and I'll show you how it looks. So remember how earlier I showed you my Asana over here? You can also add other Asanas. So you can see like I have two Asanas right here. It's two different businesses. You can add different Slacks and you can even add your email accounts. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about this. But what I want to share with you real quick on here is just how to find it. So you just go and type in shift. And I believe that is not it, even though that kind of looks cool. I believe this one is not it either. So after a couple of trials and errors of figuring out where this is, you actually have to type in shift app or you can go to tryshift.com. And this is basically what it is. You can have all of your different softwares inside this one platform. So this is probably a little bit better of a look. I probably don't use it to its full potential, to be honest with you. I just have it so I can quickly go through my Asanas and my Slacks just to make sure I communicate with my team members and get st stuff done the right way. So I believe you can try this for free. And then if you want to upgrade, it's just like one-time payment. It's like an annual payment of like, I believe it's like $100 or something like that. So it's fairly affordable throughout the whole year. Um, so I, I highly recommend you at least check out Shift. It's helped me increase my productivity levels to the moon. And it's been able to help me consistently build on and add new businesses as I grow as an individual. So that's it, you guys. Those are the top five productivity tools that I use inside my businesses. 
to continue to grow and scale. I hope you found value in this. And if you did, do me a solid, hit that like button, and then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because we're coming out with videos like this every Monday and Thursday, same time, same day of the week, every single week. Be there, and I'll see you in the next one.